Wait, why doesn't this feel like Sable? But the listing said Sable, right? Or Squirrel? Wait, what? Hi everyone! As you can see, I have here four Fumui products to show you today. I'll put up pictures from the respective listings as well so you know which products I'm talking about. As per usual, links will all be in the description box below. Quick disclaimer before I get started, I previously posted a gifted collab review of Fumui's Sable brushes before, and from that, I earned some commission from Fumui through those of you that made an order using my 10% discount code. From the commission I made, I chose to get more of their brushes to review. I had a limited selection of products I could choose from due to the prices at the time, as well as my commission budget. And then, one product was kindly gifted to me by Fumui themselves without a collab agreement. Just a gift. That said, please understand that today's video is not a collaboration with Fumui. This is purely me having gotten products to review for you all. So everything I say are my own honest thoughts and opinions. Alright, I'll just leave it at that. Back to the video. Here are my talking points for today. Intro, that's where we are now. Set of 8 sable brushes. That's this set here. Set of 4 sable brushes. Squirrel mop brush. Sable travel brush set. And final remarks. There will also be a painting demonstration with the brushes towards the end of the video, so please stay tuned for that as well. I've actually already posted a rather thorough review of this bottom set here. It's the set of 8 Kalinsky Sable brushes. Do check out that review if you want to know more in depth about that. I'll leave a link to that below as well. Now, it's important I mention that I've reviewed that set there because this set here with the floral patterned box is basically the exact same in terms of the hair bristles used. This box actually came wrapped in another layer of plastic. I'm not sure why, it's really unnecessary, but that's how it came. Upon unboxing the box, unboxing the box, <laughs> each brush also came individually wrapped in a plastic sleeve just like the previous set I had reviewed. A more sturdy plastic tubing protected the brush bristles for three of the brushes with the exception of the dagger brush. I'm not sure if this is their standard or if it was just missing from my set. Thankfully, the previously mentioned plastic sleeve was decent enough to have protected the bristles. So I have used these already and found their behavior and performance to be just like the previous sets I reviewed. So if you'd like more info, please do check that out. Now, some of you might be wondering why I chose to get this set. On the website, it looks pretty much the same as the one I already have, with the exception of the dagger brush. Well, a couple of reasons. One, I wanted to test the reliability of their listings. For example, these two travel brush sets look like they're the same kind, yet one listing says squirrel and the other says sable. So in my mind, there's this question of whether all these sets here marketed as made with Kalinsky sable, are they all the same? Or will I maybe get a synthetic set of brushes or just a different type of hair? Well, as I already mentioned, they feel and behave exactly the same. So whatever animal hair was used is the same. Which leads me to believe that all these other brush sets that are labeled as made with Kalinsky sable hair are most likely the same. <laughs> Secondly, I wanted to know if they're consistent with their manufacturing of these brushes. This set that I chose comes with, according to the current listing, a size 16 flat, a size 9 cat's tongue, a quarter inch dagger, and a size zero round brush. Interestingly enough, I received a size 16 cat's tongue. Comparing this to the size 16 cat's tongue I already have from that other set, it's obviously smaller. I'm wondering if I indeed got a size nine cat's tongue, but maybe the brush was mislabeled? Either way, something went wrong here. The size 16 flat brushes from both sets are also different in length, making one more of a short flat and the other a long flat. Only the size 0 round brush seemed to match up. 
Not great consistency wise, but hey, at least I can be happy I don't have too many duplicate brushes. And now for the star of this brush set, the quarter inch dagger. Allow me to show you my other daggers and sword brushes in comparison. I certainly don't have anything exactly the same in dimensions as the Fumui dagger in my collection, so it would be quite unfair to do any head-to-head -head comparisons. Instead, I'm just going to show you the brush marks that I could make with it. As always, I'm not great at having a steady hand or being light-handed, so I'm not the best at demonstrating long, straight, thin lines. However, I do think it could be achieved. The forte of dagger brushes is that you can paint long, thin brush strokes up to large, juicy washes of paint. Whether or not I think it's truly made with Kolinsky Sable, I encourage you to watch my previous review to find out. Moving on to the next product, the Squirrel Mop Brush. This particular one was gifted to me by the brand. I think maybe they found out I like quill brushes? Who knows? For one single brush, it came in a more luxurious box with the brush strapped onto a velvet insert. The text on the front as well as on the inside of the box are in shiny gold print, adding to the allure of luxury. The bristles actually came protected with sturdy plastic tubing. The quality feels great. It doesn't feel cheaply made at all. Craftsmanship is good. Although I'm not sure about the direction of the printed label on the handle. Here are the brushes from their other set to compare. Their product listings also seem to be the right side up. The only anomaly is the label on my squirrel mop, which seems to be the only one upside down. This doesn't affect the functionality of the brush, but it's always a little bit upsetting to receive a product not up to standard. I do, however, love, love the design of the brush handle. It has a little tear-shaped nodule at the end there that makes identification so, so easy for those that store their brushes flat in a drawer. Now for the important aspect. These Fumui Squirrel Hair Mop Brushes are significantly cheaper than other well-known brands. Of course, prices depend on where you live, where you're buying products from, as well as the size. So I will put up some price comparisons on screen here, comparing the one I have to the closest in size from other brands. And these prices are from Jackson's. For a cheaper price tag from a less well-known brand, it's only normal for us to think, is it too good to be true? Are they actually genuine squirrel hair? Well, as someone who loves and has experience with quills and squirrel brushes, yes, I 100% believe this was made with genuine squirrel hair, but don't take my word for it, let me show you. Squirrel hair is known for its softness and low spring snap factor. Synthetic squirrel hair brushes from Roman Schmal and Tintoretto clearly have more spring to them and snap back into shape more readily. Whereas, compared to Raphael and Rosemary's pure squirrel mop brushes, the Fumui one behaves the same in that it doesn't readily snap back to shape and keeps that bent form. Next is frizz. What I mean by this is that, when completely dry, real squirrel hair will be rather frizzy, whereas synthetic squirrel hair remains smooth. Next is puffiness. If you've been observant with how your brushes behave underwater, you'll be able to see that real squirrel hair puffs up, whereas synthetic squirrel don't puff up as much. Moving on to the shape of the brush, apart from sable brushes, squirrel brushes are also known to have a prominent belly, which aids in retaining more water, more paint, than synthetics. With this test, Fumui also looks the same as real squirrel hair. The last test is just experience painting with the brush. Despite being rather certain from the get-go that it's real squirrel hair, I've been testing the brush for about a month now, and I can confirm that I definitely do think it's real squirrel hair. No doubt about it. Overall, I do think it's a good product with a decent, reasonable price. 
While I can't yet comment on its longevity, it's certainly more affordable than other well-known brands, and definitely an option for those with a tighter budget looking to upgrade their brushes to squirrel hair. Or maybe you're like me, where you just love quills and love to collect all the quills in the world. <laughs> As for the brush sizes, it looks like they had sizes 2 through 12, but I asked them about it and they no longer have size 2. The listing has a drop-down menu for you to choose size 4 through 12. I asked for the dimensions and this is all I got. Dimensions for 4, 6, and 8. The one I've shown you today is size 4 and definitely has my stamp of approval. If you'd like to see me go through their previously mentioned tests for their Sable brush products, don't forget to check out that video I mentioned earlier. Alright, moving on to the last product today at $21.99, this travel brush set that came in this reusable plastic sleeve. And according to the listing, this leather pouch with their Fumui logo pressed onto the front. I'm not a leather expert, so I can't confirm if this is real leather or faux leather, but it does feel nice and not cheaply made. When I first opened this pouch, each individual travel brush came in a disposable plastic sleeve. Again, I'm not sure why so much plastic, it's just unnecessary. Let's save the earth by using less plastic. Quick little info, you'll see here that when I open this up, you can see all these golden bits protruding from the top, which makes it look like it's easy to take out. Unfortunately, that's not the case. The pouch itself is deeper, so when I put this set in my bag and go about my day, the brushes end up on the bottom of the pouch and I had to fish them out like so. This isn't a big issue, but I did find it a bit annoying. Once taken out, you'll see that three of the brushes are in the same sized travel brush handle cap thing, with just one being smaller. I noticed right away that those three individually were heavier than what I'm used to with my rosemary travel brushes, so I did a little comparison. The big three Fumui ones on top, followed by the small Fumui, Tintoretto's Pure Squirrel Travel Brush, and Rosemary's Pure Squirrel Travel Brush. You'll see that the smallest of the Fumui is the closest in size to the other two brands at almost 11 centimeters. And the big three on top are both thicker and longer, about 12 centimeters. These are how much each of the travel brushes weigh in comparison. You'll see that Fumui's smaller one that's comparable to the other two brands are of similar weight. However, the larger Fumui brushes weighed 18 grams on average, making it almost twice as heavy as the smaller sized ones. No wonder I felt like it was obviously heavier than I'm used to. This was certainly something I had to get accustomed to while testing the brushes. All of these have ventilation holes in the cap, so that's definitely good. But another drawback is that none of these are labeled on the outside. What is up with that? How am I supposed to know which brush I'm taking out unless I uncap all of them? Like, okay, in all fairness, Raphael's travel brushes also don't have labels on the outside. Rosemary's travel brushes are a bit better since they have Rosemary's logo on the outside and at least a label here. But the best has to be Tintoretto's because they have it all on the outside. So Fumui can definitely improve on that. What's different about Fumui's travel brushes is that they're the screw open and screw close type of travel brush, which isn't particularly common. A lot of you may already know that I don't like screw caps with my fountain pens. You can watch that video later. So with these brushes, using the screw cap mechanism as well, it's not my personal favorite, but I can see how some people might like it because it does feel secure. Now. On to the actual brushes. This set comes with four brushes, a size 6 flat, size 8 cat's tongue, size 8 round, and size 2 round. The size 2 round is the one that's smallest. At first glance, I thought for sure these are probably just like the Sable set of 8 that I previously reviewed, but I figured I'd do a little comparison. Coincidentally, I have a Kalinsky Sable travel brush from Rosemary. 
The dimensions for both Rosemary and Fumui haven't been provided, but hopefully you can visually see with me here that they both seem to be similar in diameter and length. Right off the bat, the brush shape is already pretty sus. It's clear that Rosemary's has an obvious belly, whereas the Fumui one does not. The water holding capacity is also different, with Rosemary obviously holding a lot more water than Fumui, almost twice as much. My experience painting with these travel brushes have been quite enjoyable. To be honest, there's nothing particularly special, they hold water and paint, and I can paint with them. The only thing I wish is that they would hold more water, so I could do some paint splatters. That said, the main thing that I like is that they're at the price point where I feel like I could just use these travel brushes without feeling like they're too precious. My heart doesn't sink when I accidentally drop them. Please watch till the end of the video for the completed artwork. Overall, all four travel brushes have good spring and snap, and hold a decent amount of water. The bristles do look and feel like natural hair, certainly not purely synthetics. I think it's possible that this may be a blend of natural hairs, or maybe a mix of natural and synthetic. I really can't be sure. Having gone through all four Fumui products, allow me to give a brief conclusion of what I think about each one as an artist and consumer. This set of eight Kalinsky Sable brushes. I still stand by everything I said in my review video, and I can highly recommend them. $21.99 for eight brushes with their build quality and performance is basically the best bargain you're going to find. This set of four Kalinsky Sable brushes. Now, at the time I got this, it was $9.99 for the set, so that's also a great price for four brushes. But at the time of recording this video, the website says it's $17.99, which I think for that price, you're better off buying a different set. This squirrel mop brush. All right, for this one, I'm very certain it's real squirrel hair. So I'm absolutely happy to be able to recommend it. However, I do want to give a little note. For those who love collecting brushes and whatnot, go for it. It's a great product. I highly recommend. But for those who actually have a tight budget and are looking to buy one single squirrel brush that will last them a lifetime, I'm hesitant to recommend this as I don't know if it'll last you a lifetime or not, or if it'll fall apart after five years down the line. For that one simple reason, I think it may be best to save a little more money and buy from a more well-known brush brand. Last but not least, the travel brush set. Although marketed as made with Kalinsky Sable, I doubt they are. But whatever these travel brushes are, for $21.99, I definitely think it's a good bargain for what you get. This one rosemary travel brush costed me $17 for just one. Considering good quality travel brushes are upwards of $10 per brush, this set could easily cost over $40. So for $21.99, I think it's still a great deal. And if you use my discount code V, that's V-E-E, -E, you can get an extra 10% off plus free shipping. This applies to all the products on their website, so if you're interested in something else, you can still use my code as well. I do hope this video has been helpful to those interested in Fumui products, or at the very least, entertaining to anyone watching. Thank you again to Fumui for gifting me the quill brush with no agreement or expectations for me to make a video. And a massive, massive thank you to everyone who used my discount code last time. If it weren't for you all, I wouldn't have been able to get the other two products to review for you. Well, that's it everyone. As always, thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to drink lots of water and stay hydrated.